I'm gonna come across some footprints here. So somebody's walked up this road and then walked back down. So we must be getting near to a highway. It's been a hell of a trail. We got to be getting somewhere. I just don't know where somewhere is. I don't know if we're coming to a road up here or just like a little clearing. An old road. Let's stick to the main one. Just past a little trail here that leads down to a lake. Let's take a quick look. A couple canoes down here. Looks like something jumped on the canoe. Maybe a squirrel jumped across. Sometime today, yeah. Squirrel tracks all over this canoe. I got a couple of ducks taking off. Nice little lake. Oh, it looks like my bolt is coming loose there. It's gonna drop right out. So that's a little lake. We're gonna continue on our way. This camera up here, the cart is full. Ran it too long, I guess. This one's got about an hour, hour and 20 minutes left, and this is the last battery. So I might not get any footage on the way back. Got quite a bit on the way here, though. And wherever here is. Still got enough gas to keep going. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, turn the camera off and unless something interesting comes up. And then turn it on so at least uh, if we get to an end here or we turn around, I can uh, video something. Let me come across some footprints here. So somebody's walked up this road and then walked back down. So we must be getting near to a highway. Looks like a couple of people. Probably looking for chickens, as in rough grouse. Well, you've only seen those three spruce hens. Oh, we got a stop sign. I don't see any uh, roads on the GPS, though. Uh -huh. This is a more major road. some marks so we know where it came from. Uh, I see a, uh, it looks like the highway on the GPS now. Rocks.
a little trail in there. Looks like a gravel pit. Somebody's been driving a four-wheeler around here. ATV, quad, bike, whatever you like. Yeah, a bunch of trails here. No dumping. That's got to be a highway. Uh-huh. It's a highway. up here, apparently there's a resort up here, what the signs say, a big antenna tower, I gotta see if this resort is open, and then we're about ready to head back, 48 kilometers from the truck, Long, rough road. Road ends one kilometer. It's getting chillier out. I'm sure it's going to get really cold once it uh, gets later. right into the lake. There's the resort over there. It's all in here. All the moorings for the boats. This is the big lake. See where Mark went? <laughs> the road's pretty slick. We're gonna go check it out. Well, it's, 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 it's. All right. All right. Hope this place is open. They got blueberry pie. What's that? Blueberry pie. Ooh. Bannock with strawberry jam. Liquor. <laughs> Nobody home. All right. Nobody here. Uh -huh. I guess we head back. So nobody's home at the resort. Well, we can't get any food. No warmth. So we gotta head back. 50 kilometers to go back through all that again. Okay, we're back to the rocks.
I'll take Mark's route this time. Seemed to be a little bit uh, better. bad hill now. And some trees I'm taking home. Maybe not, they got free. <laughs> they ran away. back through the swampy areas and starting to snow again. At least we have our, holy moly, at least we have our tracks and where we've gone to follow. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Swamp, rocks, snow, <laughs> more rocks. <laughs> there 
we go. <laughs> no stack mark. Back to the little creek crossing. Kind of cool with the sun and the snow flurries and the open area. Kind of nice to see the sun for a minute anyways today. <laughs> Feel the warmth. Oh wait, that's just the Can-Am burning my leg. All the, all the water, all the ice that we've broken. It's all frozen back up again. I don't even think it's zero out here. I guess we're still minus one, which is uh, what about 30, 31 Fahrenheit, something like that. Minus one Celsius. We're still working our way back here. We've only come back about 15 kilometers, so it's still 35 to go. No ways to go yet. is that thing? It's like a little swamp rat or something. There's a big fat thing with a long tail. It went in the water over there. <laughs> well, hopefully I caught that on this thing. It just went inside the culvert. There he is, just came out. Now they can see him through there. He's still kind of gray, he's got a white stripe on his eyeball. Into the culvert there. He went right through the culvert. The rabbit, right at the end of the culvert. Yeah. Hey? Still gray, yeah. And you see him right there. There's a culvert there, a culvert there, and the bunny went right through the culvert and he's out the other end. Just sitting there. I don't know what to think of us.
are starting to see a little bit of wildlife. A much bunny and a rat. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that thing was. It was like a muskrat, I guess. It was all scrunched up though. A rat tail. There's life in the frozen swamps. I think Mark still wants to go look for the uh, fire tower. I'm not so sure though. It's starting to get late and it's going to get cooler and I'm already chilly. We'll see. Alright, uh, we're back to the main road. So we're going to hit down a little bit and see uh, Mark wants to see that fire tower, so we got a little bit of time left. See if I can remember where it is. I'll tell you, it's a lot colder on the main road. <laughs> it's going a little faster. I'm looking for this road. I can't remember what road it is, so keep looking. Alright, to get late in the day. Oh, this is going to be the last stop and then... And then we're heading back to the truck. Still got a ways to go back to the truck though. Yeah, the fire tower is still standing. Seven hundred meters. All right, we started going for the the tower, and uh, we've run run out of time. Light's starting to fade now, so yeah, it looks like it's going to start snowing again. So I'm just trying to follow our footprints back here. Don't want to get caught out here in the dark. Came about 200 meters short. Well, we went right through there. So. Since I'm wearing them, I'm going to put a little plug in for, uh, for fin trail. If you don't think they're tough, I've been bushwhacking with these things. So far, so good. Back of the truck is dark. Hundred and fifteen kilometers. One hell of a ride. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>